Israeli police clash with Palestinian protesters after Trump Jerusalem announcement. Palestinians for a second day on Thursday faced off against Israeli police in protest of U.S. President Donald Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as the Israeli capital and plans to move the U.S. Embassy. Protesters ran from tear gas and stun grenades in the West Bank cities of Ramallah and Bethlehem. A truck reportedly plowed into a group of Palestinians protesting in the town of Beit Yala. In Jerusalem, Israeli police ordered a group of protesters near the old city's Damascus Gate to disperse. People burned American flags in photos of Trump. Demonstrations also began Wednesday across Turkey, Egypt, Jordan and Pakistan, with thousands of people gathering outside of U.S. embassies or consulates. Palestinian leaders called for three days of rage after Trump's announcement Wednesday. The president's decision was harshly criticized by Arab and European leaders, who said it risked sparking violence and would make peace more elusive. The president defended his decision as a mechanism to advance the peace process, arguing it should have been done years ago. The move signals the beginning of a new approach to conflict between Israel and the Palestinians, Trump said. We cannot solve our problems 